Hi, welcome to the first tutorial of Programming Arduino from MATLAB. In this tutorial, we'll see how to program a LED from MATLAB. For this, I'm using Arduino Mega Board and the LED. So here you can see that the anode of a LED is connected to the third pin and the cathode is connected to the ground. So this is the circuit diagram for this uh, project. Let's see how to do this with uh, MATLAB. So here's the MATLAB window and this is my Arduino Mega board that is yet to connect with my system. So first I'm going to connect this board to my system. I'm connecting here. So here you can see that the LEDs are glowing here. So the board has connected to my system. Uh, I'm going to connect uh, this LED to the third pin of Arduino Mega board. So I'm going to connect this to the board. Here you can see that I've connected my LED to the third pin of Arduino Mega. Let's see how to program this from MATLAB. So first I have to ensure that whether my board is connected to my system. And you have to type A equal to Arduino. So wait for some time. So the MATLAB will communicate with our board that is connected to the PC or laptop so it will retrieve information from the board and display in the window here we'll wait till So here uh, the command has written with uh, Arduino with properties and what is the port that is connected and what is the board that we are using and the available pins and the libraries that can be used with this board. Everything is displayed in the window. I'm going to clear this as well as and you, uh, you should be uh, sure about deleting this data here. So if this data is present here, uh, you cannot program it from Simulink. So um, but I delete this one. So I'm going to delete this. So I, here it is deleted. So the main part is uh, we are going to program our Arduino from Simulink. So click to open the Simulink library. So once the Simulink uh, library browser is open, go on and click uh, create a new model and go to find the Simulink library for Arduino. So here we have this, double click on this. So uh, inside the common, we have the blocks for programming our Arduino board. So I'm going to write my first program as digital output. I need this because that I'm uh, going to blink a LED for my first program so place the digital output so digital output is placed here and I've connected my LED to the third pin so here we have previously decided that I'm going to connect my LED anode to the third pin of Arduino. So I'm going to change the digital pin as 3 here. So 3 and OK. And I need to give some uh, input for this digital output. So I'm going to find that in sources. So you can find it in signal generator. So yeah, uh, 
you can find this pulse generator here place it and connect your pulse generator oops and connect your pulse generator to the digital output pin and all you have to do now is to double click on the pulse generator and change the pulse type to sample base leave everything as same and move on to sample time and change this as 0 0.01 here so this will uh, make the delay and Q OK and I need to verify what is the pulse that is generating from this pulse generator so I'm going to find a sync a scope in sinks so I'm going to connect a scope here it is I've connected a scope to the pulse generator so if I execute this uh, simulation code so I'm going to execute this now so make sure that you are in normal mode when you are checking for the simulation run I'm going to click run now So here the simulation is running and it's terminated after running for 10 loops. I can go and click the scope. So waiting for my scope to open. Here I can see the So here you can see the signal here, the signal that is generated from the pulse generator. So the same signal that is going to be applied to my Arduino board. So that can be seen by moving this to external, change this to external and make this as INF meaning for infinite run. So let's see that how it is working here. Before that, uh, you need to go on and uh, click the tools and go on and click uh, run on target hardware, prepare to run. And click here for enable hardware specification here. and click Arduino Mega so that's the board we are using here and click OK so everything is over and go on and click OK again so now if I click the simulation run here now this program will be executed directly on the Arduino board because I have selected external here you can see so I'm going to go on and click this run so the program this program will be deployed to hardware and I can see that in the scope as well so I'm going on and click the run now the code is connecting to the Arduino Mega so here it is compiling initializing you can see on this window see here it is really fast that LEDs uh, blinking red is really fast so I can change this by double clicking the pulse generator so I cannot uh, change the sample time here so what I'm going to do is now I'm going to stop this program and double click on the pulse generator and change this sample time as 0 0.1 again ok and I'm going to run this program again so now we have changed that uh, sample time so that here you can see the 
So after changing the pulse generator sample time, uh, here you can see how the LED is uh, blinking now. So I am satisfied with my program. So I can go and check the scope. See, whenever it goes high and goes low, it based upon the pulse generating here, the LED goes on and off. I'm going to close the pulse now. I'm going to stop the program here. So I'm satisfied with this program. So what I'm going to do now is directly deploy this code into my Arduino Mega. So this code will be permanently uh, passed from Simulink to my Arduino memory. So, so for doing that, you just need to click this button. So that is to deploy to hardware. So once you click this, the entire code will be transferred to your Arduino Mega. So here you can see the so the code is building now. So here you can see that the code has transferred to my Arduino Mega. Here I'm not running the simulation. The code has deployed to my Mega so that the LED is executing the program. So what I developed in my Simulink. So that's it for our first tutorial.